Hi guys, in today's video we'll be doing this dragon and mermaid hybrid doll. I really like the idea of making a hybrid between these two creatures, so I really hope you enjoy my take on it. For the base of this project I used this Monster High Cleo doll. I bought this second hand and it was quite loose jointed so it's a good candidate for mod. Firstly I removed the hair and the face. Then I used polymer clay to sculpt some horns and some spikes that'll be going onto the head. Glue the mods onto the head before mixing some air dry clay with a bit of glue to make a more seamless transition. Once that's completely dry, you can prep the doll for the repaint using the Mr. Super Clear Spray and get out your watercolor pencils, pastels, I also use a bit of mica powder and some acrylic paint. I start by sketching out the eyes before blocking the colors. Whenever I want a softer look, I used to chalk pastels. To get an almost faded out scaly look, I used some black chalk pastel on a small brush and kind of dab this around the eyebrow area to kind of fade it out towards the spike we put on the side of the head. To get a shimmery bluish purple eye color, I mixed some water into my mica powder and then added this. And that was the first layer done, then I sprayed it again and added on top.
I paint the spikes and the horns with acrylic paint and I later slightly faint this down the face. I use the watercolor effect of my pencils for more opaque color, but you can also just use acrylic paint. Once you're happy with the look of the face, seal it in the final time. Then I glued on some black holographic glitter. Then glue on some doll hair, I used viscose. Then add doll eyelashes and some glaze to the eyes. Now we can sculpt the wings and the tail as well from polymer clay. Prop up a part of the wing on some tin foil when you bake it to add a little more life to it. From the other wing, I made it all the way folded. For the tail, I made a very simple armature using some wire, some tin foil, and also a bit of painter's tape. Add on a thin layer of clay first, then pre-bake it and then you can start bulking up and smoothing it out wherever it needs more. Remove the top part of the armature, then place in the doll, which you cover in tinfoil, and then you can start smoothing the clay up around it to form the hip area. 
When you're done, you can very carefully slide the doll out and therefore keep the shape. Then you can add on scaly details, spikes and the tail fins. Paint the tail and the wings using acrylic paint and then add the black glitter to any black areas. Seal in the glitter if you want to avoid it spreading everywhere, and then you can assemble the doll. I really hope you enjoyed this project. If there's any other hybrids or just fairy tale creatures you'd like to see me make, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!